So, hey guys, the reason you're seeing this Python thing is because I made a little Python program that um, that makes binary uh, numbers go all the way down. And, and if you guys don't know what binary is, it's ones and zeros, basically. And I'll show you guys how I did it. So, I wrote while true at the top, and then put a colon. And then it automatically indents, and indent is this little space. And you have to write import random, import time. And then you have to write print, and then open bracket, random dot randint, uh, open bracket 0 comma 1, close bracket, and then just do it 8 times. And I did it 8 times because the standard little binary code is, uh, yeah, it's eight digits, and our time sleep 0 0.1 is because I want it to wait 0 0.1 seconds until it writes the next line of binary. So, now that I've told you that, then I think I'll press... Wait, wait where is it to? Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll press F5, which, which opens... Five. Uh, why is two of them? Yeah. Uh, five. There. So now it's making binary numbers go all the way down. I can't. Why can't I drag this up further? There we go. Drag this up. As high as I can. Now, in fact, I'll do this. Yeah, I'll do this. So it's in frame. So as you can see, binary numbers are running all the way down. And it's because I wanted this matrix effect, but it but it's actually like a really cool thing to look at. And if you make it wait for longer like, before it actually writes the next line of code, you can make it, um, well, you can actually go into a binary converter, binary to text, and, and write the code in, and, and things can actually, like, and text, and it can actually be text, so that's pretty cool as well. So, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.